Hi, in this video, I'll show you the new Wear OS management app and how it scales depending on the device type that you use. So in this picture, you see the app in dark color theme on a tablet device, a phone device, and a small uh, arm strap device that you will mount on your forearm. Uh, to better show you the intelligence of the layout, I'll switch over to the Windows app. This app can scale and swap control depending on the size of the device. Uh, this is a tablet sized device and we have a ribbon control here in the bottom. Uh, see if, uh, if I scale it down to a phone a landscape device, we switch out the ribbon uh, against two buttons, buttons here to the right. And if I change it to phone portrait, we switch it out to a slider control here, which will open the actions from there. And if I make it smaller to the arm strap device that you mount on your forearm, we split the page in two that you can uh, scroll horizontally between. Changing it back to phone portrait. This layout can place buttons in the corner that is most easy to reach. See here that the check mark is in the bottom right corner. If I go to my cancel out and go to my settings, we have a best button position setting here that is set to bottom right. We have options for top left, top right, uh, but let's try out bottom left. And if I go back to my flow, you will see that the check mark is now in the bottom left uh, position. So let's uh, change it back and before I continue my demo to bottom right. If I have a dirty screen or if I use the screen while reading, I can increase the text scaling a bit to make uh, the text a bit larger. So let's try it out 130% here. Uh, and you can see it scaled all of the text up in the app. So let's go to a flow and see how it looks. So in here, you also see that the text size increased but the re all the remaining controls uh, and the slider uh, did not. So we can still keep all of the essential information in place uh, while increasing the text size. Let's go back to the settings. And if I were wearing gloves, I could increase the button scaling too. Let's change that to 150%. So noting, notice that the the space between all of the elements increased and the size of the buttons as well. So here is the same sales picking flow with the increased button size and see that the slider is now uh, larger to make it more grabbable or easy to, to use with gloves. So let's go back again to the settings. This app actually supports the WCAG 2.1 accessibility standard for scaling up to 400% of text. So that is actually quite massive. So let's see how that looks. I'll just style down the button scaling back to 100 and then we'll increase uh, the text scaling to max. So that's the end of this dial. And this is what you'll get. It's not pretty, but it can actually allow a seeing impaired user to work with the app and perform warehouse work. So in a sales pick flow, it's a rather small device, but you can see that the text is now quite large and we rescale other elements to fit the app. Uh, and if we resize it to a tablet, you will see that you can actually read this uh, text from very far away, which could be a nice productivity boots also for regular workers.